Lester, uh, I guess welcome. Um, what's it been like, first day on the, on the new gig? Um, yeah, it's always been it's a very sort of bit starstruck at first, um, but then you start settling in by the warmth and I guess open arm of the boys, and you know, I'm just you know really excited to be here and truly grateful and just really get into my work. So, yeah. How much um, confidence have you got given you know the final result and, and your performances throughout? Um, I mean, obviously you left Super Rugby on a high. Does that sort of help you fit in a bit easier as well? Do you think? Um, I wouldn't really base too much off that. I think um, uh, the confidence I, I get from myself is just you know finding enjoyment in what I do and you know taking your opportunity um, as it comes. And for me to be here and understand the opportunity I get to be able to grow alongside some of the best players here in New Zealand and also you know the coaches here. So um, you know, that's, that, that's that's what gives me confidence to be able to understand that you know they back my ability to be here and I you know that's all that. I really need really so yeah. Similarly yeah. I guess does it give you a bit of a an extra boost of confidence that you come in here with so many of your existing Crusaders teammates? What sort of advice have they been able to give you? Yeah, it's obviously um you know started back when back crush when the team was announced. Um you know, those boys got around me and sort of you know gave me the heads up about at you know, the time focusing on what we had down there and then obviously get their job done and be able to come into this camp together and, Understanding I've got former teammates and and friends along me that I can simply ask, but at the same time, you know, I've got guys there that you know I'm, I'm really eager to learn and you know make life, lifelong friends. And uh, you know, at the same time, you know, they're doing exactly the same thing with me by welcoming and making sure I'm you know, feeling welcome there and at home. So yeah. Who are those guys you're most eager to learn from? Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to pick. Um, I'm in a team that's full of talent. Paul Collie and I guess just in general just really good guys that you know I'm really excited to be able to be a part of this journey with them and be able to head out week in week out representing this nation and do the best for it so yeah. And so I imagine coming in it, it can be quite daunting but it must be such a buzz as well. Yeah I, I'm not a man that fears a few things in life but I think it's a whole lot of excitement for me to be here um, just seeing the Collie players here that you know at the same time we we all got one goal here and just to be able to do this nation proud on the big stage and that's all we're all here for. Um, you know, obviously come from different franchises the last few weeks, but you know, the ability to be able to come as one as all blacks, um, you know, that's, that's truly, truly special and something that you know we're proud to be able to put on our shoulders and, you know, take on the world. So yeah. Have you come. found you've come to a moment yet to kind of take it all in and, and realise you know, what's going on? And um, I think, yeah, I had a moment, obviously, with the team announcement when it first came out. Um, you know, all I felt was, you know, I was truly grateful to be able to be named the squad. And I think just reflecting, I guess, the last few days of how far I've come and, you know, what really makes a special beer is, um, you know, the people that's always believed me um, have always been there since, like I said, for the early interviews, the day I picked the rugby boy. And I think. That's what's always going to be make, make every jersey, especially me and every team I, I make, is that you know the people behind me and the people that you know I represent. So yeah. Lister, how important I guess now you're in at this level to keep I guess doing what's what's got you selected to keep doing what you do. Is that important that, that you don't kind of go into a shower? Yeah, I think I think one thing I always pride myself on is you know keeping me no matter what you know what environment I'm in, uh, circumstances of life. Um, you know, my performances the last few years, I always you know, pride myself on having consistency week in, week out, and every year. And I think by doing that, it's better to continue you know, processing how I have by learning and I guess competing you know, against some of the best players. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how I roll, and you know, I'm really excited to be able to do that here. So, yeah. Have the coaches sort of said what they want from you? What, what, what do you think you know, is kind of your role now you're in this environment? I think. Um, I think there wouldn't be much they would want to change about me. I think it's just, you know, keep building confidence. Um, obviously, there's going to be some areas to work on. You know, every team, every coach, every teammate, you know, you always, you know, there's always something in your game that you want to grow and work on. And, you know, I'll find that out myself during, you know, training weeks or, you know, games itself. And, you know, I'll take it on the chin and, you know, continue growing my game. And, you know, that's only the best for me to be able to. Get those tough chats and also, you know, and also review those. So, yeah. yeah, obviously, one of the big things everyone talks about going to test rugby is the physicality that wouldn't deter you too much, would it? The physicality? Um, no, not at all. I think that just excites me, really. Yeah. Um, you know, I get told a lot, a bit of a pin boy out there, sort of throwing my body around, but 
I think when you know you're doing it for a good cause, uh, taking one for the team, representing, I guess, you know, your community, your people, and now at this level, you know, a nation, you know, just makes it more better to be able to understand that, oh, let's throw a bit more at, you know, whatever the, the D-line throws at you. So, yeah, there's uh, no fear in that. Yes, do you quite a versatile player, obviously, you can play on the wing and, and centre. Do you see yourself in one position more than the other? Um, yeah, it's a good question. I think, um, like I said, I like him a player that you know always tries showcasing every area in my game. Um, and for me, I think that just really opens up, I guess, you know, a better option for the coaches staff to have a player that can cover both the midfield and outside. And I think you know I, I try to keep it consistent, keep growing that, making sure that you know I can you know if needed, I'm there to be able to secure that third end and also anyone on the outside. So um, you know it's all about growth, and you know I've got those tools in the toolbox ready to pull out. When it's needed, so yeah. And you're not the only uh, five yeah. rookie ever sibling that's made the test debut this, this one though, in mm. terms of Piper Tonga. Have you sort of chatted to him about you know, test debuts and whatnot? Yeah, I haven't really talked to him too much more of mum and dad, I think. <laughs> you know, they're probably the proudest out of everyone in the Fighting Nuku family. And like you said, as a parent, you know, you've got one son representing, representing the place where we've come from, and you've got one that's representing a nation that's, you know, given us the opportunity to do what we do. And, I think for us as a family, you know, we're truly grateful and thankful for, I guess, not what rugby's done, but also the whole New Zealand that's built us into, you know, proud Kiwis we call. And, um, you know, I'm truly grateful and blessed to be able to, you know, call this place home. So, yeah. Competition for places is pretty tough at the Crusaders, but then when you look around this team, it's kind of that extra step up. How exciting is that, that challenge? Yeah, it's exciting, you know. I think you know, most people see it as competition. Uh, for myself, I see it as a blessing. Um, you know, be able to, you know, like I said, um, it's a blessing to be able to compete against some of the best players. And for myself, you know, growth is always going to be my mindset in teams like this and quality players around me. And to be able to pick pick your brain, brains apart, it's just exciting. Um, it's only going to invest in myself and you know make me into a better player. So yeah, it's exciting. How do you expect the All Blacks to be different to what you're used to with Super Rugby, not only on the field but off the field as well? Um, yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, hopefully in a week's time I find that out. Um, but you know, I just know that you know I've got a role to play in this team, and uh, that's obviously you know do what's asked and what's needed, and you know, I'm ready to put my hand up and you know do whatever it takes. And obviously you're not the only newbie in the squad. Have you had much to do with the other the other debutants coming through? Have you talked with them a bit? You're sort of sharing this experience with them? Yeah, I have actually. Uh, first thing coming, I just talked to Flau and Pete and all the other boys. Is um, quite good in this uh, sort of environment. You sort of you know, you know the boys quite familiar. You know, you sort of play against them week in week out here in New Zealand. But at the same time, you know, you always have a beer from afterwards and reconnect with whether you're in the hometown or not. You know, so yeah, it's um, you know, it's quite easy to be able to you know relate and have conversations with them. And um, yeah, it's um, that's the best part about it, I guess. You're going to be giving the Blues boys any ribbon? Um, <laughs> nah, not at all. I think um, you know, you know we've parked up what's 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 happened and. You know, I think every individual have, a, have played the best they can, you know, for their franchise. And, you know, I know for sure they've done their people proud and their fans proud. And now it's time for us to come together and be able to, you know, make this country a you know, really proud nation by representing the black jersey as best well, we can. Thanks,